What's going on there guys? Good evening. Uh, it is the Earthmaster here on this uh, Friday evening, December 3rd, today, 2021, uh, about 6.16 p.m. California time, latest quake on the globe, released on this map here in Southern California, having a little bit of linear activity here around the Brawley seismic zone. You can see here on the all magnitudes map, a little swarm of activity from the Imperial Fault System down here south. Uh, stretching up through the Brawley seismic zone, ending there around the southern part of the Salton Sea. Not a significant swarm, but uh, nonetheless, you can see activity ramping up here within the last hour specifically there, including a 2.5 on the Imperial Fault System. So kind of watching that movement kick up here on this Friday evening. Some movement along the San Jacinto Fault area, northward through the uh, San Andreas. Some microquakes happening just right smack dab on the southern portion of the San Andreas Fault, some microquakes there. Also some activity around the Ridgecrest region and areas north throughout Nevada. Nothing significant, just your typical uh, aftershock sequences in both the lo those locations along the western part of the Pacific uh, North, Pac uh, uh, North American plate. There we go, spit it out. <laughs> Looking pretty uh, quiet, right? At least on the surface, but we have seen a return of some trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone. And of course, in this area, kind of around the, I, I don't want to say central Oregon because people, in, the folks in Bend get a little upset when I say that. Along the central coast, I should say, of Oregon. Uh, but this is down dip downstream into the Cascadia subduction zone, the trimmer zone. Where we're seeing an uptick in, in trimmer activity. Looking at, uh, at least today, 65 epicenters of trimmer in a location that's normally absent of trimmer activity. Most of the time when we're looking at the trimmer map, we see it pretty much south uh, south of this region down into Northern California at the southern end, and then north of this location up, of course, all through Oregon, Washington, Vancouver Island ranges. Uh, but this little area right here is all, always, always quiet for the most part. You can go back a number of months here, uh, and years, and you can see that this area right here really doesn't catch up to the rest of the other locations north and south here when it comes to the trimmer. So kind of odd to see a little bit of trimmer activity here in a region that uh, normally just doesn't really have a lot or at least doesn't ever really catch up when it comes to the south and north of that location. There is a little bit more trimmer down south in northern California and also up here around Vancouver Island ranges after a period of about two weeks of very quiet activity. It looks like we could be uh, ramping up here a little bit in the Cascadia subduction zone. So keeping an eye on that activity. We have not seen any further movement into the Pacific Northwest when it comes to surface quaking or volcanic activity. Uh, movement throughout the Idaho area and Montana still just a little spotty uh, in that location. Uh, Yellowstone National Park looking at the activity here on this uh, overview of Yellowstone looks pretty quiet not a whole lot to discuss or report here in the Yellowstone area obviously some technical interference there uh, with that station in Yellowstone or possibly aliens uh, communicating with us somehow who knows uh, over here around the southern part of the plains Oklahoma a little linear uh, earthquake activity throughout Arkansas Tennessee uh, right across the New Madrid zone seeing a little bit of movement kick up there as well around Marston, Missouri, uh, right smack dab along the New Madrid area. A little bit of activity around the uh, regions over here in Tennessee, 2.1 uh, striking earlier. Down here in Puerto Rico, a little bit of activity as well uh, around the Dominican Republic. This activity was from this morning when I did the update video, uh, 132 kilometers for a 3.5 since then. We haven't really seen too much in the way of uptick in earthquake activity around the Puerto Rico area. But if you look out at the broader view uh, from last night, most of the activity was confined to this region here along the Pacific Plate and over here uh, around South America and the West Coast. Things kind of switching up a little bit uh, over the last 24 hours with renewed activity along the Fiji Islands area up through Papua New Guinea and the Indonesia area all seen uptick an earthquake movement and uh, some of this activity very deep as well around the Fiji Islands area 508 kilometers for that 4.3 some movement along the Tonga Trench with some shallow earthquake activity striking right smack dab at the subduction zone of the Tonga Ridge region uh, looks like 5.5 uh, 5 
and a uh, 4.9 kicking up in that region of the Pacific Plate up here to the north. Things cal kind of calming down, like I said, last night and the night before. Uh, things really ramping up here south of Japan and including just north of Tokyo along this section of the Japan Trench. But uh, things have calmed down. There was a deep earthquake into the uh, Philippine Plate, 4.4, 452 kilometers deep into this area right here along the uh well this little trench i'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that at least not tonight kind of picking up a cold or something i'm not for sure what's going on so who knows anyway so yeah definitely activity calming down in the north picking back up in the south but watching the west coast area as well this activity was from last night at 6.2 and then of course 6.0 earlier earlier way earlier this morning kicking up no aftershocks or anything like that picking up uh, following those uh, earthquakes earlier along the peru chile trench 4.4 pretty deep well not actually i can't take that i can't say that 15 kilometers this is not deep at all into the peru chile trench pretty shallow earthquake but other than that there's not a whole lot going on uh, according to the usgs here when it comes to earthquake activity in the south america region over here in the uh, Middle East, a little bit of earthquake activity from last night. Hasn't, haven't seen any renewed activity. Uh, also here around Greece, south of Greece, 4.4, 4, 44 kilometers for that earthquake. And off the coast of, uh, where is this at? Carlsberg Ridge region, 4.7. Uh, looks like a pretty shallow earthquake for that region right there, 10 kilometers for that earthquake. Uh, let's see, covered trimmer, covered Yellowstone, and there's definitely not a whole lot going on on the sun, but we can check it out. I guess there's some comet coming up here that we'll be able to see, uh, at least if you have a small pair of binoculars, be able to see it in the sky uh, around December 11th. I will cover that a little bit more in an update uh, tomorrow, um, which, I, which I love gazing up at the sky, and I love checking out comets. So we will be uh, looking forward to that here in the... Uh, um, in a few days when that uh, pops up or a week or so looking at the sunspot activity pretty quiet not a whole lot going on in the sun as far as the uh, aurora forecast looks like 40 percent chance across the board for the higher latitudes uh, middle latitudes looking pretty uh, small diminishing around the six so pretty uh, quiet conditions uh let's see what else we got here folks um not a like i said not a whole lot going on Let's see i want to check out the swarming activity down south here again Let's see this is kind of covering almost the entire brawley seismic zone down here it's kind of in starts at the uh southern end of the san andreas fault and ends there at the imperial fault there's all three earthquakes within that region uh very uh, well, kind of variable in a way you got one at least one very shallow and then the other two pretty deep for this area these two earthquakes striking uh, within the last hour along the imperial fault system uh, which is pretty uh these are kind of variable as well nine kilometers and six kilometers for both of those earthquakes and uh, it's looking pretty active along the san, Jac san jacinto fault zone uh, at least over the last 24 hours no si nothing significant but you can just see this trail of activity here stretching from about Santa Clarita up here, stretching all the way down into this region. A couple different uh, offset uh, fault systems here, at least from the San Jacinto Fault area, which kind of takes a turn towards the north. Uh, but you can follow that line of activity there, uh, clearly indicating some movement along this area of the Pacific Plate. All right, folks, enjoy your Friday evening. Um, stream is down. I took it down to do a couple updates here on the computer and also uh, work on a few things here with my network. So I will get that back up and running before the night's over. So stay safe Friday night. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.